Hello, this is Chris Cobb, and this is my LOL Pro Season 3 Twitch Guide. <laughs> the runes I take on Twitch are the standard 1580, 13 armor, uh, scaling MR, blues, rune set. Um, this is because you want the 1580 from the Marks and Quints just for the additional poke damage. Um, it helps out a lot just having extra AD. And you can farm under tower better, you can harass better, exchange better. Um, the armor and MR are mainly for resistances. You really need them just because and you need the armor for laning just because you'll be exchanging with an AD carry. So a lot of physical attacks like traded and this will help out a lot with reduction. Um, the MR just for a mid and late game, you'll be focused by AP carries. So this is mainly so you don't get one-shotted. The masteries I take on Twitch are 21.90. 21 in offensive reads because Twitch is a really aggressive AD carry. Um, you'll be exchanging a lot, so the extra attributes will help a lot in these exchanges. You'll have extra AD, extra armor pen, extra crit, extra basically everything that you need as an AD carry. And so about mid and late game too. Um, I like to go 9 in defense trees just because you'll be exchanging a lot in the laning phase. And your prime focus for any team fight just because your ultimate adds so much pressure. Um, so let's give you extra health, extra... The tough skin helps for trading just because you won't take as much damage when being hit by creeps and the extra armor from hardiness. Okay, the item build. Um, starting items go boots, health pots. This is just... Just movement speed and health regeneration just for farming right, and exchanging. In laning wow, phase, you need the health yeah, potions just just so you don't die, you know. Pretty basic. Um, you want to build maybe two Doran's Blades into Vamp Scepter and follow it up with an Infinity Edge. Um, if you're in like a 2v1 situation, which I don't know, it's not really silly you ask, but 2v1 and you just go straight into Infinity Edge. Um, Infinity Edge is because the additional damage. I think I adds a lot more presence than BT for Twitch just because the crit procs for everything. Um, follow this up with PD. Like with your ultimate, you want attack speed and damage. So I eat PD. It's all you really need, and you can just do a ton of damage in team fights. Um, you'll be hitting a lot of tanks, so follow this up with a black cleaver. Um, the black healer is a lot of a lot better than the last whisper right now, just because there's more armor shred, there's more health, or there's actually health on it. There's more damage. It's just more useful than the last whisper. Um, if you're being focused by CC a lot, you need a QSS. Um, if you need armor, build a GA, and then follow this up with a BT. And this will this is the standard build for AD carries. It'll give you the most optimal damage output. Um, for Twitch, he's played really weird, like, if you all in too hard, you can get focused down and die in the laning phase, um, you need to be really aware of your positioning, if you're caught out, you can die instantly and this, like, loses the game, you have no escape except your invisibility, but if you're being focused, your invis doesn't even work, so, you want to be really sneaky, I guess, um, Position yourself in like the back of team fights, but line up the enemy like the enemy team, so your ultimate hits everyone. This is what makes Twitch strong. His ultimate, it's long range, super long range. You get a huge range buff. Um, with your Q, it gives you an attack speed steroid. Once you come out of invisibility, so it's attack speed, range. You attack everyone in the line of sight, basically where you shoot. Your crits apply to everything, your passive applies to everyone, you can expunge everyone at the same time. So Twitch can like single handedly win a team fight. Like it's free penta kills because he does so much damage. Uh, in the landing phase you want to just level up your expunge. Um, do like two or three auto attacks and expunge and just back off. Those usually do like 200 to 300 damage. Um, People don't expect it, so it really catches people off guard. Um, your W adds extra poison stacks, so this plus your expunge will help out a lot. You'll do a ton of damage with this. Make sure to like basically execute people with your expunge. Or if you're just trying to poke, just use it whenever. Um, this is just because no one expects the huge burst of damage out of nowhere on expunge. 
Like, I'll be like 200 HP, I'll be like, I'm fine, I'm fine, get expunged and I just die out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck, that did a ton of damage. Twitch does so much damage if played correctly. Um, mid to late game, this is basically team fights or picking people off. Go on Viz. If you're ahead of them, just go on Viz, go behind them and just stomp them and just murder them with your ignite plus combo. And it's like free kills. And in team fights, like I said, position yourself to where you can't die and where you can do the most damage with your ultimate on. It only lasts for a certain duration, so make sure to make the most of it. Just position where you can kill everyone. And even if you can't get a line of sight, just focus down whoever you need to. Your range is so high that like you'll be able to hit like 80 carries and 80 carries in the back. I mean, you just kite around because everyone will be chasing you.